And we come up with a very clear, clear statement. We don't want dictators. We want people who are listening to, the leaders listening to people. Mm. And not just a few people. Structures that are there that must coerce the mm. president to do the right thing. Mm. Because, as I said, dictatorship coming from Kenneth Kaunda, people think that they are, they are, they are, they are gods when they are in there. Mm. And HH is also number one about that. He does not bend. He does not listen. Yeah. All dictators are beasts. They kill. Anyone who doesn't listen, they go. But not only that. What we are supposed to be doing is learning. Learning in our own groups. There should be a few more groups coming up, not just OSIDA. Mm -hmm. Learning how to work together and how to listen to one another. Mm -hmm. Without that, we will forever continue going back to dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And dictatorship, for, for us, uh, you and me, we are Christian and so on and so forth. Let's make it very clear. Mm -hmm. But HH, you are there to look after God's people. They are not your people. You fail to do this. We are going to make sure that you go out. This is not your little garden. It is God's own, even as we call it, vineyard. Listen to the people. Listen to the people. And again, listen to the people. And you have people who are wonderful, most of them educated like you, and so they don't listen to them. This is an insight to them. Mm -hmm. Our togetherness in terms of education is quite good. It is the crooks. Mm -hmm. The crooks I come together mm -hmm. with the state. the state to really abandon, to brutalize the people. And that is it. It is still true. So I told them, very, there were two of them in my office. Uh, well, that's what we have now in Zambia. You can't say anything to the president. You say, but you elected me. Mm. You elected me. Mm. I am the right person. Mm. You can't say, well, no, why don't you meet so, so and such, such people which you have. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You elected me. So what we have is a wonderful combination of crooks and criminals. And that is a fact. Then they are just sucking this country. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You are are we back to a dictatorship? Oh. Even worse than a dictatorship. <laughs> that is my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I should put the adjective humble opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Your humble opinion is usually a big thing. <laughs> so we are in a dictatorship, worse than a dictatorship. Why do you say so, Your Grace? Because dictatorship is uh, you have maybe a group of people or two, three people who are holding the whole country in their hands. This is a country that belongs to everybody. And people in governance, they are there. Only, you can call it, only in, they need and also they want 
for these people to continue. So mm. it is not in, in, in government to mm. dictate. Mm. It is for us. We are the people governed. Mm. Anyone who is governing us must listen to us. Mm. What, what are your concerns, Archbishop? My concerns? You know, we always, at least I always go back to the, the teaching of the church and our Lord who said, go out there and proclaim the message of God mm. and proclaim full goodness for everybody. Mm. Why? <laughs> then, there's something that I wanted to say, but it has escaped me. We, we talked very shortly about people we elect yeah. in government. Mm. They have a mandate, and that mandate must be made by the people, mm. even long before elections. Mm. If you give that to them when they are already in power, they, they don't need you. Mm. They, they, they have it. We have to say, right, this is what the way we go. Mm. And we begin with number one. I can see you are smiling. Mm. Number one thing is the constitution. Yeah. When you look at our constitution, we don't even know what is going on. There was a mm. time when the president could be the president and so on and so forth. Mm. Mm. Number one, to have this constitution done and done well. Mm. And then afterwards, people will be guided. You can't just wake up one day and you say, I'm so and so, I'm doing so and so. Mm. No. Here is a guide. Mm. And this guide must be followed. Mm. You don't follow this, you are a persona non grata. Mm. Actually, you can be indicted and be prosecuted. Mm. <laughs> When people come to understand that, things will be better. Mm. You, you were part of um, a grouping that created OSIDA as a civil society grouping to speak to governance issues. Um, we have seen pictures that you've had interactions with the president. Have you tabled your concerns to the president that uh, probably has veered off the course in which he was elected that he could have abandoned the issues of the poor and the, the maybe he has allowed corruption to fester? No. What? Yeah, first of all, just a little correction. Yes, sir. I am just a humble member of OSIDA. Yes, sir. And that is the truth, the whole truth. And nothing, nothing but, but the, the truth. truth. <laughs> so help me, God. Help quiet, help um, quiet. So, I was uh, approached, approached by agents sent by Osida, mm -hmm. beginning with late Simon Zukazi. Simon Zukazi, yes. I was there enjoying my peace, and someone says, don't enjoy your peace too much. The work has not been done yet. Mm -hmm. Don't you come along. You come along and we, we work together. Mm -hmm. We will guide you. We have a big picture. Mm. We want Zambia to be big. Yeah. We will be party to it. Are you ready for that? I was shaking, you know? Um, I finally agreed. When I finally agreed, the members that I found said, well, we can try you. We will try you in the, that when something has to be said, we are going to be swearing by you as the president of this. Really, you are going to do that? Mm -hmm. What about you? Don't you think there is this around? <laughs> well, if you, are, if you are afraid, tell us. <laughs> I failed to challenge that. It? You do the work. You guide me. Uh -huh. I will be there. Mm -hmm. Because I know it is, it is critical. Talking about meeting the president, you know very well what we did as a, a, a little group, you know, concerning what could have happened to uh, Edgar Lungu, for example. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what we were thinking was, look, 
let's see this man face to face mm -hmm. after the elections and he was put in Enough. place as mm -hmm. president. He renegated on mm -hmm. the premises, on, on the promises rather, that he had given them Abu Bazan and Kanya. You can, mm -hmm. you can ask him. He didn't even want to hear us anymore. Anymore. Mm -hmm. And he made sure that he sabotaged that first meeting that we had said, we are going to speak out. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He brought in all kinds of, you know, spokes and so on and so forth. And we didn't pronounce it. But there were angels who are very smart. If we can't read it, we can distribute it mm. to the people who are in the mass media, in the media. And that's what happened. So he failed to do that. So each time... He, when you met the president and the concerns you had uh, brought to his attention, he didn't want them to be communicated to the country. Yeah, that's, that's correct. That's exactly mm. what happened. Mm. He didn't want that kind of thing. So, so why is he feeling that he should escape scrutiny? This is a president that has come on the back of civil society support, like Osida and others, is one that came on promoting you know, democracy and transparency, and he should be subjected to that scrutiny. Well, I agree with you. But what the situation is, this group that will be demanding accountability from him, they would just go there on the mercy mm. of H.H. Mm. He does not listen to people. One of the leaders in the UPND came and challenged me mm -hmm. and he said, ah, you know, you are writing, you are speaking, and whatever, whatever. Why don't you call him? Yes. Call him and you can tell him what you want to tell him mm -hmm. instead of uh, the papers there and so on and so forth. I said, yeah, to begin with, your man does not listen to anybody. I would be very, very surprised if he listens to you. Mm. He is a one-man dictator. Mm. Some of the dictators at least are in a group, but he listens to nobody. When we went to State House, after so many times of trying and trying and trying, mm -hmm. we arrived there, and then we were treated to a lecture. It, mm. was, it was a lecture. Coming out, someone asked me, how did the meeting go? Very nice. So you are Very invited nice. to a meeting, a meeting you've been pushing because you've seen so many wrong things. And you've had an opportunity now to see the president and then deliver your, your views and probably hold a dialogue. Instead, it became a lecture. It was a lecture. He had all kinds of people that he sent to monitor what was going to be said. And then when we went there, everything was being said and the answers were being given without our participation. That is it. That man does not listen. Recently again, another young man came. Mm. But you know, you see, why don't you call him? To, I'm not going to call him to, to lecture me. Yeah. No, not at all. Mm. I want someone who is open to the Republic of Zambia and people who like to participate in, in the ruling of this country by bringing good ideas. We, we, we just went there. We, we felt like a group of fools. <laughs> really? Really? So I, it, th this scares me. This scares. And like you are saying, then we are in full flight dictatorship. If you, Archbishop, you know, of Lusaka twice, your position in the church, your voice in this country, you are at State House and you are treated like school children by a headmaster. Precisely. What about I, his cabinet ministers? What about his own appointees? Yeah, yeah, that's it. 
It is a dictatorship, pure and simple. And we cannot continue with this kind of thing. The country cannot progress. There are people in the UPND, you know, sometimes they use very unfair words that uh, maybe you, you and others helped President Hagainde Ichilema to become president, but you have not harvested the fruits from his government, and therefore you are now criticizing him. What do you say to those people saying that? I, I don't want to be rude. This is just trash. <laughs> if you ask the archangel there and saint there, that is exactly what our leaders did not want. Mm. And you think I was going around looking for a job not myself. Not this is an insult. It is an insult. It's exactly that. Some, one or two of our members have run away precisely because they were not given that. that or some, one of their, their children, one of their friends. So we don't want, when I arrived there, uh, you know, Sida, we are not looking for jobs. jobs. We are people who are concerned about the, the state of our country. Yeah, the, the, our country. And so if you want a job, that is the door. I said, no. I was sacked because I resigned. So you think I'm going to look for another? <laughs> mm. Mm. No. No. Mm. So all those that are around him, some of them have been, you know, taken from, from all job seekers. It, it would just hurt me. Yeah. If today I went and I said, I'm the president, I want to be prime minister, I'm sure he would give it to me because he would just completely kill everyone there on the other side. You know, he was, um, Pundu said this, Pundu now he's the fellow who mm -hmm. we have to be. No, sir. We feel that that is not the right thing. And those who want jobs from Anankan, HH, they are free to go, but they are not standing for people's wishes. Um, the young people, I think, listened to your call and the calls of others to have um, the government of Edgar Lungu voted out and to bring in Haka Inde Ichilema. The hopes of Zambians literally lay you know, um, on the shoulders of each element, that if he's elected, yeah. first of all, that he was going to do what he promised he would do, yeah, yeah. which he has, you know, lamentably failed. But secondly, that our country will be better. The divisions will be bridged and that the unity of our country will be forged better. What are the lessons we are learning from the 2021 elections? Were we harsh on Ed Galungu? Did we bequeath these good political fortunes to each lima, maybe without proper scrutiny? What can we learn from the 2021 elections? Yeah, we, when we go for campaigning for the next elections, it is still far, but not too far, is to simply first and foremost, I went to this uh, interview with the people in the media who are knowledgeable, they, are, they have said, we have just to look at what Zambia is from the point of view of governance. Mm. And we come up with a very clear, clear statement. We don't want dictators. We want people who are listening to, the leaders listening to people. Mm. And not just a few people structures that are there that must coerce the mm. president to do the right thing. Mm. Because as I said, dictatorship coming from Kenneth Kaunda, people think that they are, they are, they are, they are gods when they are in there. Mm. And HH is also number one about that. He does not bend. He does not listen. And sometimes those who have within, how do you call it, much more learning than me in, ta in, ta in, in areas of uh, we are talking about the economy and so on and so forth. They say this person knows absolutely nothing about the economy. Why doesn't he rely on experts? experts. And we have them. And they are good. 
But they think that he knows more than anybody else. So where are we going to a precipice? But we are not going to allow it. Mm. Mm. We are going to again start a campaign like the one that we started with Eddie mm. Karungu. We started it at Kariba uh, Tam there. And it was like this, going on and on and on. We have to do it. And we are going to do it on behalf of our dear country. Why do you think that President Dichlema is a danger to our country, that we have to start a campaign against him and probably seek possible solution and possible uh, successor to him? Yeah. All dictators are beasts. They kill. Anyone who doesn't listen, they go. But not only that. What we are supposed to be doing is learning. Learning in our own groups. There should be a few more groups coming up, not just Osida. Mm -hmm. Learning how to work together and how to listen to one another. Mm -hmm. Without that, we will forever continue going back to dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And dictatorship, for, for us, uh, you and me, we are Christian and so on and so forth. Let's make it very clear. Mm. But HH, you are there to look after God's people. They are not your people. You fail to do this. We are going to make sure that you go out. This is not your little car garden. It is God's own Ibarra, as we call it, vineyard. Listen to the people. Listen to the people, and again, listen to the people. And you have people who are wonderful, most of them educated like you, and so they don't listen to them. This is an insight to Zambia. Mm -hmm. Our togetherness in terms of education is quite good. Mm. But it is not. Not, not utilized. What does he do after meeting? You know, in, he goes back to state house. And what does he do? <laughs> That's where I, I met so and so. This is what he said. Let me think about it. Let me pray about it. So you know, for us, the watchers and yeah. people in the country, when we saw a good picture of you and the president, we said, "How can she never land?" You can she, you know, things are going very well. The president has just seen Osida, but you've revealed here that um, it was a lecture. Yeah. I suspect then those meetings are used for propaganda purposes. Sure. They are not used to sure. build this country. Sure. Because when we see the pictures, and there is no information, they just say the president met Osida or met the church or met the trade unions. But if what you have described is a window of those meetings, they are being used for PR or propaganda purposes, not to achieve national building. But, but when we came, personally, I'm quiet. and I think the Archangel sent as well, when we came from there, I went for a cold shower. <laughs> Just to cool, cool down cool. the anger. This man is taking God's people for granted. This man should not be allowed to go more than one term, if at all. We should begin now. We are tired. The people of Zambia From are tired. From that meeting, you made that final decision about him. For me, I, for, yeah, you are right. This is not the person we thought would be uh, our touch bearer as a leader. This is a, a monster. He is a monster. And when it comes to corruption, he's a master of it. Uh, those who come to ask me, the young journalists, what do you think about uh, this person? I said, look, uh, I take uh, strength, you know, from the American Constitution, which was, uh, I say, drafted by Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson said, we are about to make this constitution. You see, these are the guidelines that will help us, you know. 
What are the guidelines? Let me see. There are two dangers to the people of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Two dangers. And which are these dangers? One is the state itself. <laughs> the state itself mm -hmm. is a danger to the people. So our constitution should be in such a way that it will bind this state so that it doesn't do what it wants. And Against the citizens. People. Yeah, and the citizens. But then the second one, it is the crooks. Mm. The crooks I come to together mm. with the state. the state to really abandon, to brutalize the people. And that is it. It is still true. So I told them, very, there were two of them in my office. Uh, well, that's what we have now in Zambia. You can't say anything to the president. You say, but you elected me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you elected me. Mm -hmm. I am the right person. Mm -hmm. You can't say, well, no, why don't you meet so, so and such, such people which you have. No, 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 no. You elected me. So what we have is a wonderful combination of crooks and criminals. And that is a fact. Then they are just sucking this country. Pillaging the... the so, someone yesterday on social media yeah. used um, a very strong term and um, because you've called Ichle my master of corruption. Someone said community house is the biggest crime scene and with your, with your description that the state has become harmful and it has bound together with crooks and therefore it is very harmful for our people. No, so that is a, that, I don't know how it came. I was just so angry. How mm -hmm. can I find out some description of this person? He is representing the state yeah. and bringing all crooks and criminals. I mean, some of them very, very, very childish. Mm -hmm. uh, in the previous government, some of the people were imprisoned without cause. We are going to give them money to compensate them. Mm -hmm. they, they just created something and they started paying themselves. Not we, Zambians, we were just there looking, not one voice that said, but he's criminal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, no, the compensation has raised a lot of concerns. One batch has gotten up to 32 million. And in most cases, what has, I think, um, concerned all of us is that these matters didn't go through the process of the, of the court. They were consent judgments. So meaning the facts haven't even been interrogated by court. The attorney general who has been sued with the, the so-called victims just come together and write an agreement and they deposit this agreement in court and then the payouts come. Literally, there's no better example than a looting frenzy there. The state coming together with the crooks, with the capital C, <laughs> crooks, <laughs> international, looting people. Mm -hmm. Now there is hunger going on. Our people are... And then this person does not even see that this is wrong. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.